So I'm going to show you how to use SketchUp Make. So first you want to go up to the spotlight, type in SketchUp, and then this screen will open up. You're just going to click on Start Using SketchUp. Then this is the first thing that you will see. I'm using the cursor uh, to just zoom out. And you can use this hand tool to move it around. And you can use this to angle a little bit. So we're going to start out with the little rectangle tool. So I'm going to do a rectangle. And then two over is going to be, this is the offset tool. So I'm going to click on that. And I'll type in six, enter. So that will allow me to have a little bit of an offset. So then I will use the raise tool and I'll raise this up and now we have wall thickness for our room. Next I'm going to use the rectangle tool again. I'm going to create a door. So there's our door. I'm going to use the raise tool. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to push it in six and that will eliminate the door. So I'm going to use this tool right here, and you can see that the door is totally gone. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And we'll move it over. Zoom in. Let's say I wanted to put some windows in. I'm going to use the square tool. And I'm just going to, this is so I can create a, a straight line here. So then I'll add my window, I'll add another window, whatever size I want. And then right here, I'm going to use the cursor and I'm going to get rid of all of these extra lines. So once I highlight them, they will turn blue and then I press on the delete. And now I'll have a perfect window straight across. You could actually do for a square at the top, a square at the bottom, so they're exact same size. Um, then we'll use the raise tool. I'm going to raise it in. And this is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to undo that. And we'll zoom in a little bit more. Maybe on that. So raise. There's my six inches. Go over. Raise. Undo. So sometimes the angle of this can make it a little bit tricky. So I'll maybe angle it a little bit. There. Okay. You see how sometimes you have to wait for it to like open up and just go in that six inches. So then I'm gonna zoom around and you can see that I have my two windows there and I also have my door. So that's the start of using SketchUp. Alright, so at that point you want to add some colors to it, so there's this little color bucket. So I'm going to do the color bucket. When you click on that, this little menu will appear. I'm going to click on maybe a green color. And then you can add green to your walls very simply, very easily. And you rotate around. And now you get green over there too. If you wanted to add flooring, then you would click on this last thing. And maybe stone. And maybe, oh, maybe we'll do ground cover <laughs> not that you would have rocks in your in your thing but maybe I wanted that now I have rocks on the on the base but there's lots of different options here so you can choose what you want